Hey guys, in this video we are going to be going over how to assemble a hooded granny square poncho. To make one of these ponchos, you will need six granny squares in whatever size you are trying to make. When you have all six squares for your poncho made, you will then want to take four of them and lay them out in this pattern. And you will want to take this first square and fold it over onto this second square with the fronts facing each other and sew these connecting sides together. You will then want to unfold this. You will then come to this other side where you will take the third square and fold it over so that the front faces the second square and sew the connecting sides together then unfold it and do the same thing with the fourth square by taking it and folding it onto the third square with the fronts facing and sewing the connecting sides together and then unfolding it. So again, you will want to go through and fold each square onto the other in that pattern, sewing the connecting sides together. In order to sew two of these squares together, again, we are going to put the two fronts of the squares facing each other. And then I went ahead and tied a string onto the very middle stitches of both of the squares. That's the middle stitch of the corner. So I'm just going to take my needle and go through the same two stitches again from the front to the back and we can hold this tail down as we go and we are just going to whip stitch all the way along going into the next two stitches on both squares from the front to the back again holding down this tail as we go and we are going to do this all the way across until you get to the very middle stitch of the next corner going through the next stitches from the front to the back all the way across and then when you get to the other side of this you will finish that off and finish sewing the four squares together in the pattern that we just went through when you have all four of your squares sewn together in this pattern we will then take this first square and fold it in half onto itself so that it matches up with the line on the next square. We are then going to come to this other side and take this fourth square and fold it all the way over so that it matches up with the second square, making this third square also fold in half. We are then going to bring these last two open connecting sides together by making the fronts of them face each other and again whip stitching them from corner to corner all the way across. When you have that all sewn together, this is what the poncho should look like and you will want to leave it inside out until you sew the hood on. To put the hood together, we are going to take our last two squares and make the fronts face each other. We are then going to tie the very middle stitch of two corners together and then sew one side together just like we have been for the rest of the poncho. And when you get all the way across that first side, you will then round the corner and sew a second side together all the way across until you get to the middle stitch on the second corner. And you will then finish this off leaving two sides open for your hood. When you have your hood sewn together, again, you should have two connecting sides sewn all the way together, which leaves you two open sides for your hood. When you have the body of your poncho all sewn together, and the hood of your poncho sewn together and you are ready to sew the two together 
you will still want both of them to be inside out. To make sure that the hood lines up perfectly with the poncho, what I like to do is take the bottom seam of the hood and line it up with this dip where all three squares come together. So again, I line those seams up together. And then I like to start in the back here and go all the way along one side, sewing these two squares together all the way to the front and finishing that off. And then coming back to the middle of the back where they are connected and doing the exact same thing for the other side, connecting these two squares of the hood and the body of the poncho. And you will be connecting these the exact same way that we have sewed the rest of the poncho together. You can start at the front of the poncho if you would like with the front of the hood and the front of the poncho and just sew all the way around from the front to the front if you would like. But again, I like to do it the way that I just explained to make sure that it lines up perfectly in the back. When you have the hood sewn all the way on, we will then flip our work right side out and we are then going to work a border around the hood and the bottom of the poncho. I'm going to start with the border around the hood. So to do this, we are going to start with a slip knot on our hook and we are simply going to slip stitch into any stitch along the side of the hood that you would like. So again, just slip stitch right onto any stitch. And then we are going to chain one and single crochet into the same first stitch and single crochet into each stitch until you come to the bottom of this square and you have one stitch left. When you have that last stitch left, we are going to single crochet into that last stitch and then we are actually going to bring these next two stitches together and the next two stitches we are going to bring together are these two stitches here that are already used to sew the two squares together. So we are going to bring them together in one single crochet. So start a single crochet in the first leaving both loops on the hook and do the same in the second, again leaving both loops on the hook, and bring all loops together for one, two single crochet together. We are then going to move to this middle stitch here where we will work just one single crochet into this middle stitch. We are then going to bring the next two stitches together also in one, two single crochet together and these two stitches have already been used to sew these two squares together. But again, start a single crochet in the first, leaving both loops on the hook, and start a single crochet in the second, leaving the loop on the hook, and bring those two together. We are then going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch all the way up the side of this square until we get to the top where the two squares connect. When you've come to the top where the two squares connect, you will again have these two stitches that are already used to sew the two squares together. And in these two stitches, we are going to work one, two half double crochet together. So we are going to start a half double crochet in the first, leaving all of the loops on the hook and then start a half double crochet in the second, again leaving all of the loops on the hook, and then bring those two stitches together, again in one, two half double crochet together. We are then going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch until you come back to where you started this border for the hood. When you have made it back to the beginning single crochet for this border around the hood, 
we are going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet and for the second round of this border we are going to start with a chain of one and single crochet into the same first stitch and we are going to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around this second round of the border for the hood. When you have again made it back to the beginning single crochet of the round, we will then slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet. And again, that was the second round for the border of the hood. And I'm going to finish mine off here and weave in my ends. You can go on to work more than these two rounds around the hood if you would like. You will just want to continue bringing a few stitches together here in the dip in the front to continue having the same curved look. When you have finished with the border around the hood, we are going to work a border around the bottom outside of the poncho. So we are going to want to turn our work upside down with it right side out so that we are working on the outside bottom. And again, we are going to start with a slip knot on our hook and we are just going to slip stitch into a stitch on the back of our poncho. Again, you are going to want to slip stitch into a stitch on the back of your poncho. It does not necessarily matter where, but I am going to start here before where my two squares connect so we can go over that first and then we will go over the bottom tip corner. So to get started with this, we are going to start with a chain of one, which does not count. And we are going to single crochet into this first stitch. And we are going to single crochet in each stitch until we come to where these two squares connect. So again, work one single crochet in the next stitch and into each stitch until you come to where the two squares connect. When you come to where the two squares connect and you have single crocheted in the last available stitch, we are then going to bring these two stitches that have already been used to sew the two squares together, together in one two half double crochet together. So again, we are going to be using these two stitches that have already been used, just like we did on the hood. And we are going to start a half double crochet in the first, leaving all of the loops on the hook. And then we are going to start a half double crochet in the second, again, leaving all of the loops on the hook. And then we are going to bring them all together for one, two half double crochet together. We are then going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch along the side of this next square until you come to the tip of this tip corner to these two very middle stitches of this tip. When you have made it to the very two middle stitches of the tip corner, we are going to work two single crochets into both of those stitches. So again, here is the tip of the square and there is these four stitches with two double crochets in each of them. And so we are going to be in the very middle two of those eight stitches. And we are going to be working two single crochets into both of those middle stitches. And when you have worked two single crochets in both of these middle stitches, we will continue working one single crochet in each stitch all the way along this side of this square until you again come to where two squares come together, where you will work it the same way. And again, work one single crochet all the way along the next square until you come to where the two squares connect working it the same way as we did before and continuing the same thing all the way around, working the next tip corner 
the exact same as we just worked this last one, and continuing this all the way around until the beginning single crochet of this round. When you have made it all the way around that first round of the border and you are back at the beginning single crochet, we are going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet. And for the second round and every round after this that you would like to work, we are going to work it the exact same way. I am only going to work two rounds for the border, but again, if you would like to work more than these two rounds, you will want to go on to continue working them the exact same way as this second round. So we are going to start with a chain one and single crochet into the same first stitch and work one single crochet in each stitch all the way along the side of the poncho until you come to the corner tip where we have these two single crochets in these two stitches and you'll want to single crochet in each stitch until you come to these two middle stitches. When you've come <clears throat> when you've come to the two very middle stitches of the corner tip, we are going to do the same thing as the last round and work two single crochets in both of these very middle stitches. So again from the last round we worked two single crochets in the two very middle stitches and we are going to do the same thing on this round and every round after this that you would like to work for the border. And after you work those two single crochets in those two middle stitches, we then again will continue working one single crochet in each stitch all the way along the side of the poncho until you again come to the next corner tip where you will work it the same way and continue working one single crochet in each stitch until you come back to the beginning single crochet. When you have made it back to the beginning single crochet of this second round, we are again going to slip stitch into the top of this single crochet and I am going to finish mine off after this second round of the border. But again, if you would like to go on to work more rounds around the border, you can work this second round as many times as you would like to create the border. The last thing that we are going to do for this poncho is add fringe at the bottom. I took 9 inch pieces of yarn, which folded in half, are 4.5 inches, and I put 2 pieces in every other stitch all the way around. You can make your fringe longer or shorter, depending on how you would like it to look, and you can put more or less all the way around, again depending on how you would like it to look. So to put this fringe on, we are going to fold our yarn in half, take our hook and insert it into the stitch that we want to put our fringe in, hook these strands onto the hook and pull it through, and then pull the tail ends through the loop that we just created and pull that tight. And again, that is our fringe. And when you have yours all put on, you can go through and trim up the ends so that they all line up and look uniform. And that's all there is to it. I hope that that was enjoyable and helpful for you. If it was, please hit that sub, like, and bell button and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. I hope you guys go on to create many more amazing things. And until next time, I'll see ya.